In today's video, I want to take you from this, a skidded traverse into this, a grip traverse into this, some basic set it and forget it style carving. So we're going to start off with that skidded traverse that you probably find yourself making. And the reason you'll be making that, and there's nothing wrong with this, is because when we teach people to snowboard, so you start off in the side slip like this, and then when we want to get people to go across the slope, we tell them to kind of push their knee out to that far corner of the board there. And as you do that, it just starts to bring your hips over your front foot, which flattens the front foot. And basically, you're releasing pressure. And because this is a release of pressure, the board is just never gonna grip. Same thing happens on your toe side. We have the toe edge side slip like this. And then when we teach people to start going across the slope that way, we kind of open up that front knee, which starts flattening the front foot, releasing pressure, bringing, bringing the board across the slope like that. So we're gonna start off with a very quick drill that will take you from this skidded traverse. And in fact, we're gonna use that to pick up a little bit of speed. And then I'm gonna show you the adjustment that you need to make to turn that into a grip traverse. And the adjustment all comes from the front knee. So for the skidded traverse, I'm gonna push the knee out to that far corner of the board. And once I've got some speed, I'm just gonna kind of rotate that knee back up to the top corner. So it's gonna pull my hip back slightly on the inside of the turn. I can lean into that, and then the board will start to grip and come across the slope. Let me show you. So, knee's kind of pointing out that way. I'm picking up some speed. But then as I make that very small movement there, the knee comes up towards this top corner of the board. And as you can see behind me, the board has started to grip and I've left that nice thin line in the snow. Now, obviously, as I do that, you know, I'm going to kill my speed as I come back up the hill. But for the time being, just give that a go. And that's actually a really good thing we want to achieve. So let's just do this now on the toe edge. So side slip, open up the front knee, front foot starts to flatten, and I pick up some speed, but then tuck that knee back in, point it to the top corner of your board. And all of a sudden, you're gripping in the snow with that very, very slight change. The board's going to start carving and pulling you around. So the next step is rather than using a skidded traverse to pick up speed, when you get towards the end of this carved turn, when you start slowing down, you're going to make the edge change, which is essentially crossing this front knee, crossing this front hip over the board. And then because you're going to be going into the full line, that's going to give you all the speed you need. And you can just hold that knee in place until you're ready for the next edge change. I've got a little bit of space. Let me show you. So let's start again. Why not in the skidded traverse like this? I've got a bit of speed. Pull that knee to the top corner of the board. It starts gripping, but now push it out towards the toe side corner. Pulls you around, pull that knee across. As you do that, the hips come over the top of the board. And this is what I call set it and forget it carving or park and ride carving. Because all you're doing is just kind of getting your weight in the right place and really letting the board do the work for you. And what I really like to think about when I'm carving, when I'm doing this basic carving, you're essentially setting the board on a track to either kind of go off on a heel side turn or come round on a toe side turn. And your front knee really kind of guides you through that and also gets your weight in the right place. And what I like to imagine, is if you remember from your science lessons at school, those bar magnets. And when you put the iron filings on them, you get those kind of cool shapes off to the left and off to the right. And when I'm carving, it's just like I'm following that path. So when I come onto the toe side, I get my knee pointing to that top corner, get my hips forward. On the heel side, knee pointing to that corner, hips back. And as soon as I sit my weight in that right place, it just pulls me around on the path of those iron filings. And if I just lean in a little bit, it like puts me out on a really big long path. But if I suddenly lean in a bit more, I'm on a much tighter path. All right, so I wanted to make this video because I was teaching a client the other day and he had this problem and with this very small adjustment, we got him going from this kind of skid into this grip and then straight away into carving. Whew, we got that in just in one run, didn't we? So I'm still out here in beautiful Zermatt and as always, I'm using the Insta360 X3 camera. If you want to get one of these, check out my link down below. I've managed to hustle them for a better deal for you guys 
if you get that you get like a free selfie stick that i'm using now and a snow bundle and I'm not gonna lie it gets me some commission but that's what we call a cheeky little win-win baby all right